Hello everyone, welcome. I am Brian, you records and notes nation. This is gonna be Dan Vest doing his cover of Motley Crue's Dr. Feel Good. This video is going to be released on July 10th. Alright, that's gonna be a Monday. Now I've recorded um all of the videos that I record that come out at the same time every day on consecutive days, those you know that I will have recorded all in one sitting, basically. And then I schedule them for release. Uh, so this week we have Dr. Feelgood. We've got uh, Blind and Frozen from, I, won't, I don't even know that one, uh, Dr. Steen from Halloween, Heaven is a Place on Earth, Belinda Carlisle, and The Last Stand, Sabaton. So those are the five um, that are coming out this week, and we will continue on this journey. Um, I'm calling out Chords and Notes Nation to stand up and be, um, especially Vaskians. I need your I need your help. I want to upgrade my equipment, and I need I need assistance. So that is why there are three ways to go above and beyond with super thanks, with donation requests, and with becoming a Patreon member. Okay, Patreon has more things than just videos. Okay, things that you don't see here on YouTube. So there are other things that that give you a little bit more uh, depth to what I do. But I, you also get, you know, more contact with me and, and priority as well. So I'm looking for those brave ones to step up and say, you know what, I can I can throw some things your way to help you out. Because that's really what it's going to do. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go back into this channel one way or another. Uh, but please like, subscribe, and share. That will help grow the channel. It will get Dan more exposure as he deserves it. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. So let's get started. It's a feel-good song. Coffee time.
announcement time! Finally, it's out. My ninth Cobra album. Cobra Volume 9. I don't update my music platforms for a long time. I apologize for that, but go check it out. And for people asking me if I still use DistroKid to upload my stuff, of course not! I'm using another <laughs> distributor, and I'm still a little bit cautious about talking about it in public because after the videos I made, I understand that recommending a distributor is a lot of responsibility, but I'm checking those guys out, and up so far I'm very satisfied. If it continues like that, I will surely let you guys know. As you guys know, I'm all about music that gives you power, and that new album is full of that powerful music. Go check it out, and I'll see you in the next one. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good. That was good. Vince Neil has a very distinctive voice. So I, I'm i kind of teetering on the edge here. Dan did a wonderful job here. He did an awesome job. Victor the Guitar Nerd kicked ass once again. The song, the music was exactly what it's supposed to be. It had power to it. It was epic in that sense. Um, you know, but it's it's tough. It's tough to get that that tonality that Vince Neil has, and that's not what he was doing. He was singing it in his own way. Uh, but when it comes to the vocals, you know, it just it's like him trying to sing stuff from early Rush, right? Which would be really interesting for him to to do. I would I'd be interested in hearing that. But there's no way that he could he could have that distinctive impact like Getty Lee has, right? So you understand what I'm saying? Um, but otherwise, this was just fantastic. It was bringing back memories of when this song first came out. And for whatever reason, I was remembering, uh, oh, God, I was at a Milwaukee Admirals game. It was a hockey game. And uh, it was during the, the halftime, I think it was, that this song came on and it was just, like, blaring through the, through the arena. And it was like, yeah, I think it was the Bradley Center at the time. Yeah, that's long gone. But, uh, yeah, well, for whatever reason, I don't know why I remembered that. But that's, hey, it's a reaction, right? It's so what music does is it, it it stimulates thought and 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 uh takes you to places that uh um that you probably wouldn't have been i would i probably never would have walked around walked down memory lane with that unless i heard this song again so uh it was really cool so all right yeah good stuff and i know one person one person in particular a pretty kick-ass bass player who was in a Motley Crue cover band, who might enjoy this. And hopefully, you know who I who you are. I'm talking to you. That's right. You see my eyes? Hopefully, you'll see this, and you'll drop me a line in the comments below. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Romans 8, 28. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.